Hello JMixers. Uh, today I want to show quick fix uh, for the uh, log 4J vulnerability. You already uh, heard the news that it was the uh, security breach into that specific jar a file and any applications which uh, utilizing that uh, log4j uh, uh, jar file uh, directly or indirectly could be vulnerable for remote remote uh, code execution which is uh, sort of a big deal it's almost uh, year to 2000 issue with the community uh, however from history point of view of reading a bunch of articles uh, this vulnerability was discovered back in 2003 and we are already in the end of 2021 uh, didn't see any significant uh, articles about the uh, exploring this uh, hole in that uh, uh, jar a file so we don't know if it is blow out of proportion or it is significantly serious problem but anyway uh, to protect ourselves uh, it's two uh, things need to be done and I want to show you how to do that first uh, uh, you open up your JMeter whatever version you have if you have the latest latest one this page was already introduced but anyone who used the previous using previous version of a JMeter and for some uh, organization it become very difficult uh, to replace to a new version of a JMeter for some reasons backward compatibility of scripts uh, environment which is not allowed to do massive updates and you name it so here's the solution I will put some links into the uh, uh, description uh, so you can navigate to those uh, sites and download necessary components. So the first one, uh, just open up your JMeter and quickly run your script just to see if it's working. Right? So no problem. It's uh, doing some responses. All right. So JMeter is working. Okay. So now we go to navigate to the system dot property, and we're going to disable uh, functionality of uh, of that uh, jar element log four j to be able uh, to negotiate with external calls. So here, that's how we're going to do this. So here again in the system properties, uh, we're going to add this specific line. All right, so this is commented out for that uh, log4j vulnerability to disable that specific uh, hole in that jar, which will. Uh, basically say do not look for uh, external uh, calls in the uh, messaging uh, jar all right so this is number one number two we are going to download the uh, latest uh, logj4 uh, jar file basically it's group of library but we are going to look for four specific jars which we need to replace and I'll show you what uh, we're going to do with that. So right now the latest version is uh, 2.17 literally a couple days ago it was 2.16 and 2.15, 2.16 uh, uh, look like they did additional patch and we're going to use this one. So we're going to download it first All 
All right, we're going to uh, uh, unzip it, and I'll show you what uh, four DLLs need to be taken. So after we successfully download the uh, um, uh, log4j uh, zip, we're going to unzip it and look for those four jars which need to be replaced. Uh, older version of those jars are located in the, the uh, your JMeter directory lib, and as you can see, I have those over here. So what you're gonna do? You're going to uh, close your JMeter. All right. Uh, take those DLLs. I'm sorry. Take those jars. Delete them. And replace them with the newer unzipped version. Right here. So now we're going to start JMeter and uh, see if it's working. So it's visible JMeter is starting and now we have a main window and let's go take the uh, any script and run it and as you can see everything's working fine. So for those who are going to do that, I really suggest uh, if you have multiple load engines, try the first one uh, with that process. Uh, take a couple of scripts, run them, and see if everything's working fine. Then you can move forward with other load engines. But this is the latest update of uh, Log4j vulnerability fix. Uh, well, good luck with that. Uh, if you like it, uh, please subscribe, put your comments. See you next time. Bye.